Hello and welcome back to The Lowdown. This week's special guests are Suicide Silence, who make a very welcome return to the fold. Have a look at this. Eddie and Mark from Suicide Silence on The Lowdown. So, you first started playing shows like as like the new incarnation of Suicide Silence uh, on Soundwave, was mm -hmm. that right? Mm -hmm. Did it come straight in the pocket straight away? Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Not was, convincing was by the no suddenness work of that. at all. We uh, had never played a show together. No, um, yeah, we actually uh, spent a lot of time uh, kind of refining everything. All of mm. us were, were fucking devastatedly nervous for the mm. whole thing. Uh, but yep. we're anxiously nervous. Yeah. 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 Was it that kind of like, oh, I'm pretty sure this is going to roll, but can we just get out there and do it? Kind of, yeah. yeah. We wanted to get that first one done because all of us know what it's like to be on tour for one. Mm -hmm. And on tour, you want to get that first show done, that second show done, that third show done. And then it's like, then all right, now we're on and now we're just going. Mm. But yeah, I mean, I would say the first time we really hit the stage together and we're, we were doing it, it was a... Uh, it was one of those. I, I I always use the word like cathartic or like yeah. it's like it's like it's it's such a, a just moment yeah. that is you can't compare to anything in it. Uh, for me personally, you know, just coming back for me, it's a comeback. Mm. So it's different for, from 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 Eddie, but you know, it was an absolute like. Holy goddamn! I look to my right. There's some friends, fucking John Green, and <laughs> you know people from from Australia. And then you know look to my left, and I have Dan Kenny and Eddie and Garza. Look back. I see Alex. It's just like, fuck. And look out in the crowd, and this is boom. Like this is here. It is. It's back. It's felt so, so the, good. The ten minutes after you come off stage must have been like the biggest emotional release imaginable. Yeah, I mean, well, it was. I, I was still very exhilarated, and I just immediately started drinking. So <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a good time. But uh, before going on, so we we worked our asses off for the for for uh, this first show. We were just like, this needs to go off without a hitch. Like mm. we're gonna be playing in front of a huge crowd. Like really nervous about you know. Maybe choosing the biggest show ever to to to, to start yeah, with. Yeah. The deep end. You know, yeah, and, yeah. and it's like it's like all right, we're gonna, we're just gonna jump in. It didn't but, really hit us until we were there. There was like, yeah. fuck, this is like really <laughs> fucking big. We're like we're like driving to our stage as fucking down is going on, and you're just like, yeah. oh, sick, that's Phil and Selma. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but yeah, so we get there, and like here I am doing my ritual, getting ready, and Alex is freaking the fuck out. So his. What's your ritual? Uh, my rituals are usually. Uh, oh, we'll get into that. Right, I, right. Let me get into this yeah. story because this, you're, you're, like how the show went off so well is yeah. beyond me. But um, Alex was like, oh, yeah, Alex that. was like tripping out. Like when he get when we get there, and I was like, what's wrong with Alex? Well, everybody, come, nobody's telling me. Everybody's trying to run, running around getting the, getting everything set up, and uh, I finally got a glimpse of what was really going on, and Alex's uh, drum triggers had gone out completely. So, oh, no. so his kick drum sound mm. yeah, was think, non-existent. Yeah, we played in like, we had 15 minutes to figure it out. <laughs> and uh, luckily, uh, one, of the, uh, the, the, one of the One of Artist Murders guys was breaking down uh, uh, the set, and um, we asked them to ask Lee to lend us the, the, the brain, is what we call it. Yeah. We and, didn't know uh, them yet, now we're good friends yeah. with them. <laughs> I bet. Thank yeah. you, The Artist Murder. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And uh, luckily it went off, but I mean, think about it, it's your first show, your drums the don't work. You need, man. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's, uh, that was freaking me the fuck out. But uh, my rituals <laughs> include uh, uh, stretching, I usually warm my voice up like, wow. a, like a, as much of, of a, a trained singer as I can be. You know, I've, <laughs> uh, I've done some schooling, but, okay. but uh, mo it's mostly just getting, getting into the zone, getting that like changing character, if you will, like mm. kind of becoming a different person. And correct me if I'm wrong, but were the seeds sown for this incantation of Suicide Silence at the uh, the Mitch Memorial show? No, not really. The, the Mitch Memorial show was really like, w it was what it was. I mean, it was, yeah. that, it was a memorial show. Eddie was the first person uh, that really popped up one of the first people that popped up that we would be able to contact right away and kind of get the ball rolling on it. Oh, okay. uh, so like when we were thinking about what we wanted to do and we wanted to put together a show and we were just, you know, how are we going to yeah. do it? You know, well, let's try and get a couple singers to, to do it. And then, you know, 
Eddie's name came up, uh, and then a couple more, and they were like, that's, that's a lot of names. Like, we could probably get a, a bunch of names, a bunch of people to come down and have a different singer for every song. And, uh, but, no, I mean, there was not, it wasn't really, like, we weren't yeah. really walking into that show. I remember looking at it as, like, this could potentially be the last time we play. Okay. Like, yeah. Absolutely. And um, well, when, when did the thought go, okay, we're going to get back on the horse, and this guy's the guy? That came more like months into 2013, where we were uh, we would just want to meet up once a month, and we would want to hang out together uh, and talk about how everybody was feeling and just like what we wanted to do and what everybody was up to and just how everybody was, you know, kind of just as like a group therapy for ourselves, yeah, and uh, and yeah, we just, everything would come up. You know, we had our manager there too, and he's he's absolutely not. When I say manager, if people are watching, they're thinking like some dude in a suit. But no. it's like, no, he's our he's our friend. He's been our manager for a really long time, and uh, you know, he wanted us to get together for the good of of us as a as a family, as brothers. And uh, yeah, eventually it was just like everybody was ready to play again. Everybody was ready to just, to you know whatever uh, seemed like was a consensus and what we all wanted to do, we were ready to do and. Uh, once Eddie's name came up, it was so weird. There's some kid out there that commented on an Instagram picture in like December of 2012 that said like, I heard Eddie from Allshot Parish is your guys' new singer way before we even thought about him. Right. And, and or anything. And uh, Eddie's just always been such a good friend of ours and yeah. someone that it's like one of those constant connections where it's like, you know, text Eddie, you know, it turns into a, a you know, how you been, what's up, what's going on, always just up on what's going on with Allshot Parish and Eddie. And uh, that was really weird to me because it wasn't for a couple months before I or whoever it was said it out loud at one of those meetings. Like, we should see if Eddie would be down to try, like, recording his voice on one of our songs, just see what it sounds like, see how we feel about it. And that was where the the gears started turning. It's so funny because that's exactly how it came to my, my table. It was like, hey, would you just kind of do us the favor of seeing, of helping us see what it's like for some, somebody other than Mitch singing these wow. songs? Yeah. And I was like, absolutely. I was like, anything you guys fucking need, if you guys are going to continue this, this band, that's what you should be doing. That's what Mitch would fucking want. And I'm happy to help in any way. And I turned it around really quickly. I like got home, hit up, hit up, uh, I wasn't even aware of it for a few days. It, it existed for a few days, and he had done it, and then it got sent to me, and I was like, "What? Well, they like, asked this me. Already? They and asked me, and I went home and did it. I was like, I was like, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, it's it's one song. Helping I'll your buddies. Now I can record it in a couple of hours. It's not a big deal. You know, I, I was very familiar with the song, and you know, I did it. And literally the day after they heard it, they were like, "Uh, you're. There's no way we can." even ask anybody else so can you can you figure this out can you you see what's up with us and i said you know give me a little bit of time I, there's a i still got a lot was, going on that was over the here. nail biting yeah. time yeah. for us where we were like kind of sold on the idea like you know if eddie doesn't do it like we don't want to have a second choice you know we <laughs> yeah. don't want to we don't want to be like well we feel so strong about eddie but we don't want to we don't want him to turn it down and then we're like well on to the next idea you know yeah. we didn't want that kind of bullshit of so like we were him saying like, give us a little bit of time. It's something like a month and a half or two months. Where we're like, we sat there like three months, months. <laughs> like that lucky rabbit's foot. It yeah, was. Dude. It was from. It was the the waiting time was, and I'm happy that they were patient and they weren't just like, you know what, fuck this, we're not going to keep mm. going, or or we're just going to find somebody else. Um, but it was a, uh, it was from April, till what was it july june probably, probably june, june july when when i finally was like okay cool yeah i'm i'm down Killer. let's do this shit yeah. so uh from the deep end in uh, sound waves so the uk is getting its first look at you guys at download festival mm -hmm. in at the deep end again yeah so you've played download before have you done download before Never, dude. amazing Never. <laughs> it's one of those festivals that's always elude, eluded me and i fucking couldn't be more stoked now that i have done Soundwave and now I'm here to do download. I'm just I'm already fired up. I already know what's what how I feel on stage. And right, I, I know Eddie that, to the wolves, <laughs> dude. Right. <laughs> luckily, I've been doing That's this. That's you, not. Luckily, <laughs> luckily uh, this isn't my first rodeo, so yeah, you know, killer. Um, I, I I've I know what I'm doing. I I, I know where I, where I'm uh, what I, where I'm coming from on stage. I know 
kind of what the crowd is going to bring. Mm. Uh, the energy has felt very similar to every sh every single show we've played, including the Golden God Awards, where, I mean, it's an award show. Nobody fucking moves. Mm. Nobody nobody pits. Nobody even yells because yeah. it's a it's a taped award show. Mm. And at that show, we still managed to get a pit People going. Pit it. People scream. We, we, yeah. we were we were we were getting some of the some of the loudest cheers. So I mean, it's. The band's a force, and they, these guys make it really easy for me to go out there and just shred it, so. Kayla, stick around. Suicide Silence is going to be answering your questions a little bit later on. Hello and welcome back to the final part of the Lowdown, the official Download Festival TV show with me, Bees. Let's dive straight in with your fan questions to Suicide Silence. Welcome back to the lowdown. Suicide silence to answer your questions. <laughs> Samuel Jacquet says, if uh -oh. you guys would have a giant demonic, possibly fire-breathing mascot on stage, a la Avenged Sevenfold's Bat King or Dio's Demon Murray, Ooh. what would it be and Good what reference. would you call it? Also, he's really excited about the new record. Okay, uh, I think it would be some kind of combo of like a bear and like a massive golden eagle. <laughs> with dragon wings and a beak. So like a bear with a beak with dragon wings. And I don't know, I'd probably call it like... Man some... bear pig? Yeah, <laughs> man, man, yeah call, it, call it man bear pig. <laughs> Dude man bear pig. I, I, think, that, I think that it would be the, the, uh, the snakes, the two, the two S's that are, that are ah, snakes. Killer. And kind of shooting fire at each other, or fire away from each other. I think. That would be more traditional. Me that, would be, that would be more that, traditional. That'd be cool. I heard, heard Aerosmith are bringing the snow machine. Daniel Burt <laughs> says, any ideas on when a UK tour will be announced? Uh, yeah, once we leave download. Yeah. Once we get done Excellent. at download, yeah. then we'll announce what we're going to do. <laughs> my wife will like, kill me, so <laughs> stop there. Right? Uh, Messer Boogie Dan, sorry, my missus works for Live Nation. <laughs> Messer Boogie Dan says, oh, this is a blinder. Best power ballad of all time. Power ballad? Mm. Well, dude, it's uh, the um, uh, More Than Words, is that? The ah, that's a good Mr. show. Dan. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love that song. <laughs> Big. That's, yeah, fuck, best power I'm having a loan by heart. All right. Every rose has a thorn. <laughs> I, oh, oh, I'm no. always saying that. You're a power ballad demon, Eddie. Fuck yeah, dude, I, I love know. that shit. Yeah, no, there is no good power ballad. <laughs> <laughs> At Got the Life 83 says, yes. should Pantera return with Zach? Yes. 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 A resounding uh, uh, yes. Absolutely. Tyler Cobber Joel says, zombie vampires or space dinosaurs? <laughs> space dinosaurs. <laughs> zombie <laughs> vampires? <laughs> that sounds like a really good thing mixed with a really horrible thing. But vampires are already the undead and so are zombies. Nice. Well, yeah, it's a little double negative There's there. Sp space dinosaurs. Space the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs sounds fucking awesome. Isn't what that, isn't like that, space isn't that, gills? Isn't that what that show Dinosaurs was based off of? Not the mama? Aren't they space dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah, I'm up Maybe. for They're it. like they another are. dimension or some shit? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, they spoke for a start, so it's not the yeah, right? realms. Yeah. <laughs> Cuddles87 said, who was the last person that made you starstruck? Phil Hanselmo. Fuck. Oh, that's a mad one. Yeah. yeah. I, I actually had to uh, like reassess my entire life hanging out with him just because I'm sitting in front of somebody who it's like, I modeled my whole world after your <laughs> band and you and everyone in your band and the way you guys were and and then it's like now I'm you know hanging out backstage and listening to the new down record and it's like <laughs> you're just being you and I don't know how to be me. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I I would say Jerry Cantrell from oh, Awesome Change. I you know he I, he walked up and I just couldn't help but be like I'm a big fan of yours and which is like <laughs> the biggest Dude. thing you don't do to anybody especially when you're a musician. Uh, but yeah, it was we, you know we played Soundwave together. If it, if it makes you feel better, he came on the show last year, and everyone on the crew had a photo <laughs> with him afterwards. So totally, we're in the same boat. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, that, that was the dude that got me. Simon Southampton FC Deer says, if you could play a set with one over other band, who would it be and why? Play, mm. Like play with them? Yeah, like but like it'd be like Suicide Silence and. Another band. Ooh. Oh god! Well, we play with like if that's the greatest thing about Suicide Sounds. We play with everybody we want to play with. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I would say alive or dead. Then. Well, god damn. I would love to play with like. I want to play with Black, the Who. Like okay. the Who. I want to play with say, the Who. I'd say Black Sabbath in like the '60s or '70s. Killer. I think I think that that would be a, a fucking killer band to be on tour with. Uh, Matty Park says, "What one band are you a mega fan of?" Which is a hard question. So I'm going to say, "Who was your favorite band when you were a kid?" 
Mm. Well, I, I, I'm a mega fan of Gojira. Oh, okay. I the love choice. Gojira. I'm a, I'm a mega fan of uh, Faith No More. Killer. Uh, Jake Holborough says, Eddie, do you like chicken noodles? Chicken noodles? Duh. Yeah, especially when like, I'm sick. Like chicken but uh, I I prefer ramen noodles. You know, out of the the really shitty pack of noodles <laughs> that you pack. can't. You know that, that. And I really like the chicken flavor. I'll eat two of them and I'll throw on an anime and just sit there. Man, and just, I've just <laughs> come back from Japan, right? I'm avoiding all ramen for about <laughs> six months because it was so rad out there. Yeah, it was ridiculous. I yeah, the real issue. ramen. But that, I'm talking about the, I'm talking about the not real You're ramen. You're talking like ninety nine yeah. cents. Like add hot water. <laughs> Not even 99 cents, dude. It's like, it's like 30 <laughs> cents a pack. Yeah, right? <laughs> Twisted Champ says, Mark, can I have some beard tips? Mine's terrible. Uh, wake up. Don't shave. <laughs> uh, be awesome first. <laughs> Before you go to sleep, don't shave. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, just you don't strike me as a guy who's mm. like, oh, coconut oil. Or <laughs> shit. No, not at all. I'm actually like, I had a, a wedding that I went to, and my friend, I know that if I was to get married, he would go to the barber and he would do himself up real nice. So I did that for him, and I regret it because now my beard looks too nice. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Jamie Cohen says, What's your guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure? I would have to say Britney Spears. Wow, power ballads of Britney Spears. You learn something new every day, Eddie. What can I say? <laughs> My, mine, I mean, I guess it's, I don't even find it guilty anymore is Blink-182. It's just <laughs> like, like Wayne's World, they say, you know, like, Forever Comes Alive, it's delivered to your house with, like, packets of Tide. Like, literally, yeah. there was a VHS Blink-182 delivered to my house when I was in, like, second grade, yeah. so. Winner. Yeah, Josie. J Jensen Tyson says, what would you do on the tour bus that would make Jesus cry? <laughs> Uh, Everything. <laughs> sh shit in the bag, defile yeah. people. Uh, uh, shitting in bags and throwing it out of the moving vehicle. You, you yeah. kind of become used to it in your game, though, didn't yeah, you? That kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah. hot bags. Part and parcel. It's called uh, a hot bag. Watching, uh, watching the, watching as much porn as humanly possible in your bunk. <laughs> oh, and, I, okay. Uh, you put the TV on. You have satellite in the states, and then there's TVs in all the bunks. <laughs> the thing is, is that nobody wants to go out there and put it on porn, but somebody in the middle of the night dude. always <laughs> goes and puts <laughs> it on. So. Yeah. Georgia Fuentes says, uh, why are you called Suicide Silence and who came up with the name? Suicide Silence was originally a logo drawn by Garza, our other, other guitar player, a starting founding member of the band. Suicide Silence sounded cool. Metal as fuck. Metal as fuck. He drew it like so it looked like it was slashed with knives and that was the original logo. Yeah. And literally, his vision was to start the heaviest band ever and have the heaviest band name ever. So uh -huh. that's where it came from. Suicide Silence is going to be caning it on the Pepsi Max stage on the Sunday of this year's Download Festival. The record is called You Can't Stop Me. It's out in July, and it's an absolute madman. Yeah. He's right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> totally it happens right. every now and then. 